Hello YouTube, I hope everybody is doing great and today I want to show you something uh, just shortly. Um, I picked up this uh, code that I had which is written by Bodmer. Thank you very much Bodmer for writing it and sharing it and i have these i have ordered these these are 1.69 inch displays ips with uh, 240 by 280 pixel resolution and uh, as you can see they have rounded corners and an excellent matte finish on the glass so it's not um, reflecting any light let me get those dust particles off and uh, this is also a shout out to Emmanuel aka uh, Toboso uh, he has many many great libraries and he always or oh, he did complain when I had this place with the protection film on it and made videos if it's for customers I leave it on but on this one I had to take it off because uh, the display is just too nice to be shown with the protection film on. So anyway, this is a code of uh, Artificial Horizon. Also they are called professionally I think uh, Attitude Indicator which is obviously used in aircraft. And I don't know why I always like these although I never flown in the cockpit oh actually i've flown in the cockpit once when i was a child many many years ago so anyway um other than that i have nothing to do with aviation but i am uh, i do like aviation instruments this is my altimeter that i have and um i think this will be a nice addition as the attitude indicator well anyway, um, this code is currently running on an Atmega 328 and it's pretty slow and obviously this code was written actually for initially for a display with 160 by 128 pixels so it runs faster on there. So anyway, uh, I put a picture of this, of this on uh, Instagram and uh, Twitter and Mike. Hi Mike, thank you for all your contributions and Mike liked it also and he said uh, please do make a video and uh, here it is. So I want to make this into, well create our own PCB for it. This is my uh, heads PCB which is has the corners here and is too big. It's initially for the 1.3 inch display so anyway i want to create a new pcb only for this display oh just for this display but using the esp32 t what is called t micro 32 so this is a smaller version of the esp32 module and as you can see it will be very easy to put this on here along with a lipo charging circuit and whatnot and and well this is only demo code so it's just running by itself i will put a mpu mpu 6050 on here a gyro chip and hopefully be able to have this as a sta standalone unit of course this is not um of officially or um it's, it, it's a gadget it's nothing that you would put into your plane and then rely on it I mean that's not what it's for but I do like it and uh, while trying out this display I stumbled up on this code I had it for many many years and um, <clears throat> finally I want to make it into a product so and while looking for I always also look for 3D print files and also create my own and share them. And by the way, I switched to another site. I will put a link in the description 
where you can download all my uh, 3D designs if you wish to. They are also still on Thingiverse. Anyway, I found this case which is made for a clock and uses, as you can maybe probably tell, it's uh, based on the Apple Watch. And this is actually made for this display, including a Apple Apple Watch, I don't know which one, but I think it's a 44 millimeter sized uh, glass, uh, well, protection glass that uh, you can buy. And this case uh, fits that glass. I did not, I do not have the glass yet. I will probably make some small design changes to this. And uh, anyway, I like it. I mean, it's not that you're gonna wear this on your wrist obviously but since it has this design you could make a 3d print file that you can slide in there and have it as a keychain or make this magnetic and then stick it in your car or whatever i will probably do it or just even make it as a keychain uh, one other use that this could be used for is in rc planes or drones where you mount it somewhere that you can see through your camera obviously i know there are all kinds of gimmicks out there that you can record video including all the uh, data um, but it's just numbers i think so it's nothing visual like this so you could put this into your rc plane helicopter or whatever and then record a video with while it's flying and then to see the artificial horizon so I think that would be nice. So <clears throat> obviously I will have to adjust the code. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it myself. Um, haven't worked with uh, gyros a lot or actually not at all. And um, I want to have this like in this case, it should probably fit. I can make it fit. And uh, instead of mechanical switches, maybe make the touch sensors because actually this board has four touch sensors on each side which are obviously not used by this code right now but uh, that way you could uh, touch the sensor and then calibrate it because if you're gonna mount it you're not gonna mount it up the way straight like this it's gonna be maybe like that and then you want to um, calibrate the pitch angle so you could then touch the sensor and then it would calibrate itself and reset itself and then you can um, use it as like that I might I don't know because I'm gonna have some room on the board um, maybe put a SD card on there for uh, saving the data the roll and pitch angle to the SD card so that's all a possibility um, since the ESP is much faster, the Mega chip runs on 16 megahertz. This runs up to 240 megahertz. So I'm assuming the display will be much, much smoother with the ESP. So anyway, if anybody is interested, please do let me know. Uh, Mike, I replied to your message on Twitter, I think it was. So... Um, Maybe we get we can get in contact and I could supply you, although I know you design your own boards, awesome boards, and you use the ESP also as a, a, bare, a bare chip, not as modules, but I want to keep it as a module just in case I want to sell this because this one has a FCC number, so I'm legally, or I can sell it like that. Anyway, um... Maybe we get in touch with each other and uh, work out a nice piece of code with a nice piece of hardware. So um, hopefully it will work out. And I also have uh, ordered a round display as well. These are both SPR IPS displays and they both run with the ST7789 driver chip. So and on this one I did print this and I put a lens on here and it's a convex lens 
so whatever you show on this will get uh, gets magnified a little bit plus it gives of course protection for the display um, I'm not sure yet what I will do with this but um, I normally have these on my desk laying around and then sometimes it makes uh, bling and the light goes off in my head and then I get this idea what I can do with it so this one is still has not quite a purpose yet I thought about actually using this for my fingerprint scanner as a display to put in the car um, that I might do I don't know yet but uh, anyway that's another project so if you do have questions <clears throat> please leave them in the comments and I also want to thank my five uh, supporters on patreon thank you very much guys and you can if you like my channel subscribe and hit the notification bell and you can check out my tindy store where i sell stuff like this and um what else tindy store oh you can also ooh. you can support my uh, you can support me or my channel or whichever you want to do with uh going to my affiliate links from banggood i also have uh, i'm also sponsored by pcbway uh, and I do upload their open source PCBs as well, so you could go and get whatever you want on there as well. Anyway, this is it. So I, I, I like this. I could watch, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's uh, some kind of sickness or craziness or whatever, but I could watch this all day. I don't know why. Anyway, this is it. And I hope uh, you enjoyed it. As I said, please comment and like and subscribe and share. I appreciate it. And uh, up to the next one. Take care.